forever. Yeah. I'm gonna post him that way. Probably climbing up. Our really gets pain. Oh yeah. Shows that that was coming. We get. Oh wow, wow. You know what I'm just gonna But the detail. Yeah, I know. It's Friday. I can't believe it, right? The days just fly by. It's time for another unboxing. Thank you for tuning in. If you've never been here before, I do a lot of unboxing. Um, mostly Hot Toys, but I do Star Wars, um, DC, and Marvel. Yeah, I know. I used to be just Star Wars, but you know what happens. Like I always say in my video, once you get one Marvel, it's over. Once you get one DC, it's over. But today, we have Ahsoka Tano, Star Wars, from the Clone Wars TMS 021. One six scale collectible figure. Let's check out the box on the side. We've seen this before. Um, the cigar wrap kind of style on the side. Let's see here. Let's get this up. Let's see how it looks here. For sure. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Inside box art normally is better than the outside. I don't know about this time. It looks kind of par a little bit. But still, Sokotano. My very first Sokotano. I did pre-order the Mandalorian Sokotano, though. God knows when that's coming, right? But for now, I've had her in my collection sitting i've been moving so i'm just now unboxing for you guys i've been trying to do a little bit of marvel dc to kind of spread them out a little bit so you guys will get you know not just star wars all the time or or marvel or vice versa so yep um looks like we have another clamshell style set up here which is always nice because they're so easy to unbox. Once you do one, then everything else pretty much just um, gets uh, done easily. I also like it when you have this um, extra tray on the side here that has some of the smaller um, accessories so that you can kind of Avoid dropping them or losing them right in the front here. You already know we have the um, what you call? instruction sheets that is probably the only instruction sheet that I ever read because it does kind of help you out a little bit as to you know how to. Um, install certain accessories or which sometimes you have to remove the head to put the the robe or the cloak so yeah it's definitely I definitely recommend at least taking a quick peek so you know what to do and you don't have to worry about um, breaking anything so it looks like she came with a lot of um, hologram there um, let me get all the accessories out of the box so that we can take a closer look of everything she came with and uh, we'll check them out see how epic they look you already know you already know she's gonna be epic okay that's everything she came with not a whole lot right um, just enough maybe let's see according to the website she is approximately 29 centimeters tall um, she has seven pieces of interchangeable hands including one pair of relax, one pair of lightsaber holding hands, pair of gesture hands, and one right fist. Um, each piece of head sculpt is specially hand painted, which we'll take a look at in a couple minutes here. Um, as for her costume, she has one gray colored poncho with weathering effects, which we'll take a look at the table right now. Um, finely tabled navy blue and gray colored tunic with attached apron which is she's wearing right now a pair of navy color undersuit a pair of navy blue colored gauntlets with 
four M gloves, a pair of silver colored knee guards, um, one pair of silver colored calf guards, and a pair of black colored leather like boots. For her weapons, she has a pair of blue lightsaber and a pair of blue lightsaber blade in motion, which is um, the one that right there. Right, accessories, thermal detonator, uh, hollow projector, which is that thing right there, but we'll take a closer look. Um, and she has a hologram figure of Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda. Um, I know this thing here is the one you use to kind of move her eyeballs, which is kind of cool, kind of like Darth Maul. So, yeah. Um... That's it. That's all she came with. So let's see the detonator first. There. It looks really good. Not much weathering, but the paint app is really good, as you can see. Um. This is the projector where you put, um, let's see, let's put Obi-Wan Kenobi in. This one, you just kind of like, there's a peg right there and you just kind of peg him in like that. I think it's similar to what, um, Cody does have. That looks really good. Let's see. He also, here's the Yoda one. Pick him in. There we go. There's Yoda. You can see him. There you go. It's cool how you can still make it out even though it's that small and one color like that. Hot toys don't mess around. Also, we have Anakin Skywalker right there. Like I said, you can still see that it's Anakin. I don't know how they did that. Pretty cool. Um, let's look at the poncho. It kind of looks like... Mm, kind of like Maul, maybe? No. Django. It looks a lot like Django Fett's poncho. It's wired around the head all the way down to... Over here, nothing in the bottom, no. Nope. Really good, nice material. Detail you can kind of see there, it looks really good. Let's look at the motion lightsaber. We have two, one for the small hilt and one for the regular size hilt. Let's check them out. I don't think these ones um, actually light up. I guess I didn't see any batteries. There you go. Looks good. Kind of fade from green to almost clear right there. Same thing on this side. And we have the lightsabers right here. Real quick. The weathering on this one is really good. All around. There you go. And here's the really size one and already you know that it just pegs in there so you can put the motion we also got some extra ball joints there and um, I am not sure what these are for but here we go let's look at the hands like force, like mind control kind of open and can all be thus. Let's look at a pair of right there. Looks good. The guard is pretty weathered. Paint app looks amazing for the lightsaber hands, holding hands. This one is 
a fist, a closed fist. Right hand. Really nice. Good. And this is for what um, you would use to hold the holographic. Right in her hand like that. Okay. She came with the generic stand that everybody loves. And wish we keep getting the same exact thing, right? So we can have like Amelia de Vam here. Here comes the waist grabber. They're adjustable and it pegs by in a hole right there. Um, so I think that's all the accessories she came with. Let's bring. Should I attempt? to get all this plastic without embarrassing myself because they're like out of control. Yeah, they're out of control. So I think you'll be better off like, uh, oh, we'll be better off if I pause the video, remove all the plastic and then uh, we'll take a closer look. Man, I'm so glad I paused that because man, that took two weeks. To do. No, it felt like two weeks, but no, it, it, it definitely, you, even when removing this, normally you slide off, no. It wasn't fun. You have to remove the neck to get the neck part out. Um, same thing for the hand. Um, her head, hair piece is not, it's like there. So you already know you're not going to get a lot of articulation on the head. Not really. Um, Let's look at the, I kind of like the material on her legs though. It's really stretchy. And double jointed, careful. But she goes about that far. Let's see over here. It's kind of like Ray, so I would be careful on bending that. We don't want any ripping on that one. After a while, I don't know how that's gonna stand. I, I I like it how this already came with Ray. You had to what you call um, slide those forearm guards. But let's look at her face. Insane. The paint app look amazing. I'm just gonna be quiet. I'm just gonna let you see. And look at all the details. Um, she's kind of like a cross between like a live action Ahsoka would look like and the Clone Wars. Which I think Hot Toys nailed it out of the park. Look at the dirt there. Nope, came just like that. The belt and the skirt. Really, really nice. It's kind of like it has like a little rubbery feeling or texture on that. But she looks amazing. Look at that. You can kind of see her. And it's silicone. It's soft. It, it's nice. I like them. I'm just worried about in a long term how it would hold up with the... Um, the constant reposing. I'm probably just gonna pose her and then be done. You know what I wanna look at though? Let's pop her head and let's try to move. How do you even move that? Her eyes. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna look at the manual because that thing tells you Exactly what we need to do. This out. Boom. Quick. I don't know why they even put the thing in there. Put this thing on plastic because it's ripping them out. Let's see. Oh, you kind of removed the face. Just like that. So you don't actually 110 degrees for the elbow. So you actually just remove the face. How 
in the world? Okay, I see it. Man, that's kind of weird. Right? Just kind of back out. Oh, that's kind of... it yeah so you like pull this back that's so weird man and that's how you access hair or you did the eyes but I kind of like how she look right now so you just kind of put it in there and you just move them around see I already moved it that move it a little bit this there you go looks amazing man it doesn't take much to adjust so I would be careful it's, pr it's pretty easy to move oh, mace really I wonder how why they do this in certain characters and not all of them, right? I mean, her price is not like it's it's more than the other ones. They're pretty much the same, but I don't know. Do you guys like that you can move them on some figures and not on the other figure? I feel like it should be just for every, every figure, right? There you go. I feel like they should just make it like that for every figure and uh maybe it'd be a lot easier it's kind of all oh, this a little magnet up there right so let's see looks like it gets kind of man i really hate it right you kind of just follow that little thing there and you just Squeeze it down, man. Let me get it out of the way here. All right, there it is. It's kind of weird, the whole process while well, you take it off. But when once once you have it right lined up, it kind of just doesn't click but it just kind of slides in place but still that is weird right that's really weird how they did that but other than that let's see is she easy to post can you just boom drop her yeah so she's gonna be a blast posing let me get a post for you guys and uh I'll be guess I'll let you guys know my thoughts of the figure and uh, we'll go from there. It's so hard to pose. I just pretty much set her down and she kind of stayed like that. So that's pretty good. But I did remove the hands and put the lightsabers on the hand and then peg it back into um, her arm there. Because if not, it would have been horrible and um, you probably would put some scratches or dent on the on her arm by doing that. So always take out the hand, in my opinion, put the accessories in the hand and then slap it back on. That way you're concentrating on the hand and you're not damaging anything else. And then when you put it on, you can kind of like watch out for what exactly you're doing. So there will be no boo-boos made. Okay, um, let's do another pose. And I think that's the pose, man. I think that's the pose I'm going for. It looks weird because on the camera, he's kind of, on what I can see, she's kind of like looking down, but when I look at the camera, she's not quite looking down. I think maybe I need to raise you up a little bit, maybe. Let's see. Look down. No, the same. But that's the pose. My first Ahsoka Tano. I think it's the only, I think there's only two, right? I mean, this one and the uh, the Mandalorian that's coming out. And we don't know when that's coming out yet. So, but, 
so far, I'm loving it. Um, those, everything just looks great. Her poncho is actually, like, better than Django Fett. And Django Fett's poncho wasn't really hard to, to post. I love that figure. I don't know if you guys have that one yet. But this one, Hot Toys, like I said, um, it's not quite the um, Clone Wars animated um, version. It's more like in between um, the live action Ahsoka would look like and, and the animated like combined. So like I said, I love it. Uh, can't wait to see the Mandalorian version of her. But um, he's definitely, she's definitely a keeper. If you don't have her yet, um, she's still available on um, for retail right now. I just looked it up for you guys. So um, she's ready to ship. Um, so buy them from your favorite uh, local comic store or toy store or online retailer. But she's definitely a 10 out of 10. So guys, thank you for tuning in and watching the videos. If you've never been here before, thank you for checking it out and give me a subscribe. It will definitely help the channel help me grow i appreciate it and thank you for watching again and like always i'll see you on the flip side